What's going on, Raider Nation? And welcome back to the pregame episode for Week 8 versus the Giants, Tecmo Super Bowl style, right here on the Raider Critique. Now, as you can see, it's Week 8 against the Giants. I had to make some changes because of everything that has happened. So, this is my starting lineup. Put Carr back in there. And uh, this is what I'm going to be running with my starting lineup since uh, of the Henry Ruggs incident. So, that means that this is what I'm basically running with. I'm going to change this up a little bit here. Make sure I got this set up right. This probably isn't going to be a very good playbook to use since I've got Ingold in there. Now let me see if I can kind of jockey this around a little bit. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to run with this playbook here. Everything's going to be a little bit different now that I do not have the speedy wide receiver that we had before. And we all know why we don't have him. And since we don't have him, I'm not going to play with him. So, uh, yeah. Let me make sure I've got everything squared away here. I'm hoping that uh, everybody's picking all this up. Now I'm going to have to completely change my whole lineup because Peyton Barber decided to come back. So I will be changing the lineup as I go through. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. After this rough week, I think we all need just kind of to escape. Let's see if I even get close to the prediction on this, so... Oh, Max Crosby just got Peter rolled. Oh, I picked this one. Yeah, baby. Picked off. I'll take it. All right. Well, at least he didn't drop the ball. Shitty pass by Derek Carr, but nice catch by Renfro. Ready. Oh, shit. Not a good pass. Touchdown, baby, in double coverage to Hunter Renfro. Oh, that was Willie Sneed. Oh, I need to pull him out because Willie Sneed's not even on the damn team no more. I'll go in and make the adjustments when I get back on offense. Oh, 
Come on, don't let him take off. Wow. And then everybody's gonna dive early. He just took off. Jeez. Time to go in and make some changes. All right, so now that we've got the actual starting lineup in here now, let's see how I do. Fourth and nine. I should be able to get it. I'm hoping as long as I don't pick it. Ah! Ugh! Ready. Ready. Hope I pick this one. Oh, pick that one too. Carl Nassib with the sack. All right. Well, I'm going to try a field goal. Let's see if I can get in here with Crosby and block it. He missed. All right, so dodged a bullet there. Your car is slow as hell. Wide open. Wide open. Ready. Gotta go to my money maker, bro. Probably try to hit the hit the deeper out here. And they scored. Are you serious? Good play. So they have tied the game at halftime. 14 up. Get the ball back in the second half. 
get this done as fast as possible. Yeah, I thank everybody for coming in here and watching this. I've still got the John Gruden uh, email chronicles still on the back burner. I'm waiting on a few guests to get back in contact with me. And I'll continue on with that. But after this week that we've had with Henry Ruggs and everything else, man, I'm actually not surprised that I'm not able to get a hold of anybody for the interviews. We'll just do some Tecmo Super Bowl here. I'm gonna keep this motherfucker deep. Come on, Waller, get him. Nope. I guess I shouldn't have thrown it to him because he was closed, but... He is my best weapon on this team right now. I'll take Hunter Rimpro, though. I had nowhere to go with that one. Nowhere I felt comfortable, anyway. I'm going to go ahead and kick a field goal here. Right down the pipe, buddy. Stay tuned for after the game. Because even after the game's over, uh, this episode will not be over. I'll jump on camera and say a few things. Take it. Casey Hayward. Well, let's see if I can get us up by 10. It should be only to where he can get it, and he overthrew him. Come on, Derek. Maybe bring Mariota up in this bitch. Oh my god! <laughs> Josh Jacobs, you bum! Ready? Oh my... Derek, he's wide open, dude! Bring AJ Cole in here to bunt, punt the ball as deep as he can. Ready. Oh, there's Cleve Farrell. I don't know where he was going with that one. Good job, Mullen. Good job. Now, to avoid a fumble, I'm going straight out of bounds. Because this game, this game likes to fumble. The Tecmo gods. Wow. 
All right, Derek blows it one more time. Mariota's coming in the damn game. Hey, nice catch, Renfro. All right. Now they're burning their time out. They're probably hoping that they hold me to three. Oh, and he throws a pick. That was even better than what they expected. Oh, man. Are you serious? Don't let that dude go. Come on! Take him down! Minute 35, I gotta keep him beyond the 50 to have a chance. The minute 26 left, come on defense. Shepard, and he got it! Oh my lord, no way! Oh, crap. I might be taking an L on this one. There's 33 seconds left in the game. Block it. Alright, well now we know what we gotta do. And of course, he booted that shit so far. 11 seconds. So here we go. Mariota coming into the game for the last play. This is my chance right here. Oh, fuck! Game over. Son of a... Well... There you have it. There you have it. So, let me go ahead and switch over to this one here. Now, I want to say a few things about what happened this week. Now, of course, we lost the game. And, yeah, it was, um, you know, this game right here, uh, I hope it doesn't go this way. We've got a lot of adversity coming on to the team after the Henry Ruggs car crash incident. I just want to reach out and do pretty much what everybody else has been doing and just, you know, say and do that I'm praying for the family of the victim. Uh, poor Miss Tiana lost her life along with her dog because Henry Ruggs was traveling 157 mile an hour down Rainbow Boulevard in Las Vegas. My heart goes out to the family. My heart goes out to the team. My heart goes out to everyone involved who is suffering from this. And I hope that Everybody, NFL players, can all learn from this situation. And, you know, just just pray for everybody involved. I mean, I really don't have much else to say. We just lost. In Tecmo World, we just lost this game. And I'm hoping today that we don't lose this game because we need all the momentum we, we can get to solidifying our spot into the playoffs and the way this team has had to deal with the adversity it's been an absolute nightmare of a season for this team even though their record may not reflect it 
So anyway, until next time, Raider Nation, I will be continuing on with the John Gruden email chronicles. And then, of course, now with this Henry Ruggs incident, I'll be asking questions about that as well to my future guests. Uh, I do have confirmation from Spotlight Raiders Talk. If I can just get them to reply back to me. And also Murph from Raiders Fan Radio. And then also Scream, Raiders Scream. So, until next time, Raider Nation, until next week, when I do the post-game review of this New York Giants versus Las Vegas Raiders game on week eight, like it's always been and like I've always said, stay strong, Raider Nation. It's Raider Nation for life. Thank <laughs> you.